dances. I'm always in the dark. She can make you laugh. I caught crabs in paradise. And yes, I mean both kinds of crabs. <laughs> She even roller skates. My name is Dinah, and I'm your dining car. <laughs> I don't think I do anything that well, but I do a little bit of everything. <laughs> and there was this dear, sweet... Don't let her fool you. Jane Krakowski has been earning rave reviews... It's a novel, but I didn't know, or I certainly wouldn't have smacked him! ...as Alona Ritter. The slightly shopworn and very lovelorn perfume store worker in a revival of the 1963 Broadway show, She Loves Me. She's kind of tough and sweet at the same time. Yes, smart but doesn't make smart choices all the time. Um, I've come to adore her. And why not? She's got a show-stopping dance. Together. You know, me leaping in the air into a split under the ground and being dragged across the entire stage because you just don't expect, I guess, me at this time in my life and career to be doing that still. At 47, Jane Krakowski seems to be at a very fine time in her life. She's also featured in a hot Netflix series, The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. You'll need to be here by 6 every morning to get Buckley up for school. Then get me up at 10, but don't wake me up. You want a water? No. <laughs> it's Krakowski's second project with Tina Fey, after six seasons on 30 Rock. I never should have treated you the way I did, Liz. I need someone who has so little going on in her life, she lets me get all the attention. And I need someone in my life who doesn't listen to a word I say. But thank you. I just got it cut. Sometime. They needed a girl that was blonde in hair color and spirit. <laughs> and they needed her to be the opposite of Tina Fey. So they hired me. I walked in and they said, you're it. <laughs> and she's still it. Jane Krakowski, she loves me. On the day we caught up with her, she had just earned a Tony nomination for her role in She Loves Me. What's that like when, you, when that call comes in? It is a relief. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm a slight, still flabbergasted by it, and it's, it's such a joy. The Broadway stage is just a few miles, but a world away from where it all began. This is so crazy. <laughs> it looks exactly the same. The Barn Theater in suburban New Jersey, near Jane's hometown of Parsippany. So By day, her dad was a chemical engineer, her mom a teacher. By night, they were here, on stage. And instead of getting babysitters, my parents would take me to the theater when they were rehearsing for their plays or putting on the shows. How old were you when you first you know, appeared on stage. I think I may have been three or four. I was, I was um, a non-billed Cratchit child, I think, <laughs> in A Christmas Carol, and I worked my way up to Tiny Tim. And Cabaret, weren't you a Kit Kat girl in Cabaret, Mom? I was Mom? a Kit Kat girl, and I costumed it. <laughs> Barbara yeah. Krakowski says her daughter was a born performer. Did you ever dream that she would be as successful as she is? I had faith that she was going to work, but I, I never dreamed like this. You, you, you just burst with pride. You say, oh, my goodness. Rusty and Audrey, cousins Vicky and Dale. And oh, my goodness, and, uh, Mom was on set Junior. when Jane, then 14, Junior. filmed a now famous line in National Lampoon's Vacation. I'm going steady, and I French kiss. So everybody does that. Yeah, but Daddy says I'm the best at it. You knew it was funny. Oh, please. They had to glue my mouth shut. <laughs> Blast. So well, welcome to New Jersey. Well, thank you so much. This is the full experience. When you Jane prides herself on her Jersey moxie. <laughs> oh, you're doing it! <laughs> but I don't want to hurt you. And she can lure a reluctant reporter onto the New Jersey rink where she skated as a team. Got it. And now we spin. No, no, we're on a <laughs> While still in high school, she glided onto Broadway in the part of a train car in Andrew Lloyd Webber's all-skating musical, Starlight Express. 
But America really know this Jane Krakowski in 1997 when she played an office assistant in the cutting-edge dramedy Ally McBeal. Elaine was slightly slutty and always, I don't seeking, know what you're talking seeking about. Seeking attention. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. It's a what? A face bra. Next to aging and sun exposure, jogging is one of the leading causes of wrinkles. Her invention, the face bra, was one of the series' memorable gags. Elaine, you look like Hannibal Lecter. I may look silly, but this thing is a gold mine. It's another of her scene stealing, but not lead parts. You get a character role. I call them second bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always the second banana. <laughs> Good morning. My day. How are you this glorious day? Have you seen But her second banana, banana role in Never. She Loves Me oh, has special meaning day. for Jane Krakowski. Oh, and here's the picture of my dad as Kodai. Yes, so in her dressing room, she keeps so a decades-old photo of her dad performing in the same show. My father is not well right now, and um, I thought this would be the last probably show that he might possibly see me in. And so this is a, a tribute to my dad. A lot of people don't know that that's one of the reasons I took this show. Though her father, suffering from Alzheimer's, has not been able to attend, Krakowski's five-year-old son, Bennett, with former fiancé, clothing designer Robert Godley, has seen mom on stage. And while she says being a mother is her very favorite role, it's hard to believe how truly domestic Jane Krakowski's career gives her plenty to sing about. It must be kind of fun to know that more and more people know who Jane Krakowski is and will give a production, whether it's television or on Broadway, a chance just because you're in it. That would be cool. <laughs> that would be good. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh.